A group of 35 Republican senators have introduced a bill to block the Biden administration from reopening the U.S. consulate in Jerusalem. The bill, which is called Upholding the 1995 Jerusalem Embassy Law Act of 2021, aims to prevent the U.S. from reopening its mission to the Palestinians in Israel's capital. But the bill has virtually no chance of passing. Since uh, the Republicans do not have a majority in either houses of Congress, and with no Democrat likely to back legislation, this uh, goes against a key Biden administration policy initiative. Now, the consulate had been closed by former U.S. President Trump back in 2019. The Biden administration maintains that reopening the consulate is simply returning to the pre-Trump status quo. It is part of Biden's pledge to renew relations with the Palestinians that were severed during the Trump era. Now, Israel, however, is opposed to plans to reopen the consulate. They see it as an infringement to their sovereignty and an opening to other countries moving to open diplomatic offices in Jerusalem to serve Palestinians. Our Foreign Minister Yair Lapid had warned U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken that Washington's plans, if they chose to go ahead, could topple the Israeli government since it includes right-wing parties that may not be willing to swallow such a move. But the U.S. has so far held back from reopening the consulate after Israel requested time till its government passes a budget next month. Now, our correspondent, uh, Susan Tehrani, has sent us this report from New York. Listen in. In Washington, U.S. Senator Bill Haggerty of Tennessee, along with 33 other Republican senators, introduced the bill on Tuesday in order to block the Biden administration from opening a consulate serving Palestinians in Jerusalem. U.S. President Joe Biden says that he would not reverse former U.S. President Donald Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. However, he did promise in an election campaign that he would reopen the consulate to the Palestinians in Jerusalem, which was merged into the U.S. Embassy back in 2018 when Donald Trump implemented a 1995 law and moved the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem regarding this new bill proposed by the Republicans. Well, the Republicans and Democrats are split in the Senate with Vice President Kamala Harris being the tiebreaker. So the chances of the bill passing is very slim. And regarding the Biden administration, well, they would have to uh, get the approval of the Israeli government to open a consulate. And so far, Jerusalem opposes the move. So the question remains on whether or not this will be another foreign policy campaign promise unrealized by the Biden administration or not. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On, World is One. Now, our correspondent Jody Cohen has also sent us this report from Jerusalem. Listen in. At the heart of this issue is who has sovereignty over Jerusalem and specifically the old city, which houses the most holy site in Judaism and the third most holy site in Islam. Previous peace office by Israel offering East Jerusalem as the capital of a Palestinian state were rejected. Now the US would like to open its consulate in West Jerusalem. Under international law, Israel's consent is needed for the US to open the consulate. The new government and opposition both strongly oppose the idea. However, with the US funding significant parts of Israel's defense system, Israel will perhaps only be able to delay or get concessions from the US as opposed to stopping the opening altogether. It's likely that significant moves won't be made until after the budget is voted on in November in order not to destabilize the new government. This is Jody Cohn from Jerusalem for We On World is One. We On now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.